to bring the uh, May 20th planning board meeting to order. Uh, before I can continue, uh, we need a motion. <laughs> I second the motion that you serve as chair tonight. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor? So I'll serve as chairman tonight in the absence of our chairman and co-chairman. And I do believe we have a quorum, so I guess we can continue the meeting. Um, first item on the agenda is the uh, minutes from the April 15th meeting. Uh, is there any uh, um, discussion regarding those or any uh, changes or omissions? Motion's been made to accept. We'll hear a second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes from April 15th, minutes are approved. Um, correspondence in front of us tonight, um, um, a brief regarding Sawyer versus Cape Elizabeth, a planning commission journal spring 2003 and a memo from the town manager regarding the third item on our agenda the crew subdivision and the first item on our agenda tonight is a consent agenda item the review of a subdivision de minimis change requested by Robert Schendel and Joan Szczynski for an amendment to the previously approved Riverview subdivision to change the lot line between lot 8 and lot 9. Reviewed on section 16-2-5 amendment to previously approved subdivision. Co-applicants are requesting an amendment to the Riverview subdivision to adjust their common boundary line, lot 8 and 9 of the subdivision. With the proposed change, both lots will still exceed the minimum lot size of 80,000 square feet. The application will be reviewed under 16-2-5 amendment to previous approved subdivision. Is there any discussion on the board at this point? Any? No. no. Then, uh, do I hear a motion? Mr. Chairman, hearing no discussion, I have a motion for the board to consider. Be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted, the application of Robert Skydo and John Szczynski for an amendment to the Riverview subdivision to adjust their common boundary line between 1 and 3 Wainwright Drive be approved under section 16-2-5 of the subdivision ordinance as a consent agenda item. There's a motion in front. Is there any discussion? Do I hear, I should say, do I hear a second? Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? And all those in favor of the motion, uh, please show by raising their right hand. The motion carries unanimously. <coughs> second item on our agenda this evening is uh, in our old business is uh, the Pillsbury private access way permit. Uh, Marshall and Suzanne Pillsbury are requesting a private access way permit and a resource protection permit for a driveway to access a lot located at 78 Two Lights Road. A public hearing has been advertised for this evening. The application will be reviewed for compliance with section 19-7-9 private access way and section 19-8-3 resource pr protection permit. Uh, I think the board at this time would like the applicant to uh, bring us up to date and summarize any changes that you might have made on the plans. And um, since the last time I was here, 
we've updated the plan with most of the town engineers previous concerns that were in his previous letter and I've outlined those on a letter to the town dated May 2nd included with my pack of information that I submitted was the easement fee which was given by my brother and his wife for our access to the lot and a letter from him as well saying that they'll sign the easement as soon as this has been approved through the town. There's also a storm water runoff plan completed by Sebago Technics. A letter from Mark Hampton, a soil scientist explaining how the wetlands were delineated and like I said most of the previous concerns of the town engineer have been updated on the plan. You need me to go through all those? I think at this point it's just if you bring us up to date on any changes that have been made fine and then we'll review it for completeness. All the changes have been made on the plan others at the last meeting except the last couple I understand that have been recently made regarding the radius change to the end of the driveway that will be forthcoming. We just got it so we haven't done it yet. Was there one other item? There's two others. The proposed water service from Two Lights Road should be shown on the plan because we're not planning to drill a well so we will do that. And the size and material of the proposed culvert should be specified on the plan. Okay. So as far as everything else that was previously outlined by the town engineer it's been added to the plan. Okay. Thank you very much. At this point I think what we will do is open it to a hearing and then the close of the hearing then the board will begin discussion. 